Hey everybody, thanks for joining me here for Quick Tip Thursday. This is Nicole with Topaz, and today's session is about combining Simplify and Impression to get unique control over your digital art. So just playing around with um, our programs and trying to come up with some unique ways of working with them, I found a way of working with Simplify and Impression that's really interesting to me because when you pair Simplify's ability to remove the details from an image with Impression's ability to create these really beautiful and authentic paint strokes, I found that I have a lot more control over my end results in my digital paintings. So that's what we're going to be covering here today, showing you how to quickly go into Simplify to remove details that you might not want in your um, end result and then going into Impression to finish it off. So we're going to work on this image first. I love this image, this beach image, um, but whenever I took it into impression to try to create a digital painting, it left some splotches of color where the crowd of people here are on the left. So let me go ahead and show you that. Topaz Labs, Topaz Impression, Let's just jump right on in there. I wanted to get something like the Turner Sunset type of effect in this painting. I wanted to go very abstract with it and um, kind of larger paint strokes here. Just click on that. Okay, so here with our Turner Sunset, we have these little splotches of color where our crowd was over here on the left-hand side. And that's what was kind of distracting for me. I wanted to get rid of that color. And I could do that by going into my um, presets here and really working on my hue and trying to match it to the background hue and all different ways of trying to do that. But I thought, you know, it would be a lot easier just to take this directly into uh, Simplify first and get rid of them using Simplify's size-based technology and get a nice underpainting type of an effect before I go into impression to really help me control that end result. So I just went into Topaz Simplify and let me zoom in here to 100% so we can really see what it's doing to our image and I'm going to press reset all. And again, Simplify has a size-based technology where as you take that Simplify size slider over here on the global adjustments up, it's going to start removing the smallest size elements in your image and then just increasingly removing larger elements and larger elements as you take that uh, slider to the right. So you can see as I get really high up here, it's actually removed uh, the people here. There's some shadows left over and a little bit of color as well, but she can work with that and, and remove that, which we will do. Over here on the left-hand side in our painting collection, we have something called underpainting. We have three of them for you to start off with if you'd rather just come over here. And they basically go in increasing order of smoothness. So you'll see you'll have quite a bit of detail still left over here and some sharpness. And then the underpainting two softens up just a little bit more and then the underpainting three. With the underpainting presets, you'll notice that it gets a little bit kind of gray and murky and I don't really want that. What I want to do in, uh, in Simplify is really set up a palette to work with an impression that's going to give me less detail and more abstract elements with my brushes and impression, but I still want my color and pop and overall tone. So we'll work with that here as well. If you want to bring back in some of those simple or some of those details, you can take that simplify size slider down, but I really want to take them out and get rid of some of these color artifacts that are going on. So this, for example, this yellow uh, shadow is actually coming from this yellow umbrella. So it's coming from the what was there before, but I can get rid of it by going to this color space RGB and going to YCBCR, which will try to kind of blend it with all the colors versus have those um, kind of brighter artifacts standing out. I don't really want to do anything else within the simplify slider, but I do want to go into my adjust region and that's where all of this non-contrasty desaturated effect is happening. So I'm just going to double click on my contrast and bring that back up, double click on my saturation to bring that back up and my saturation boost. You know, I think I'm going to actually take my saturation up and take my saturation boost up to kind of match those lower saturated colors. So I like that. We're pulling in a nice amount of blue. One other thing that you might want to do within Simplify before taking it into Impression is setting up a certain tone for your image. Within our finishing touches in Simplify, we have something called the quad tone where you can add tone into your image, into the shadows, the midtones, and the highlights. So I like to just turn that on. And if I wanted to add maybe some 
teal blue in my shadow areas and maybe some nice vintage yellow sun into my highlights. I can easily do that just by clicking on my color swatches and selecting the type of color I want. For here, we're going to go real dark teal. There we go. That's for our shadow region. This is for the lower mid-tones. I'm going to stick with that kind of greeny blue color. For my highlights, I want to go more towards kind of an orangey yellow. There we go. And for my whites, I'll do the same, kind of go more towards the yellowy color. Say OK. And now I can add that in real heavily to my image or just subtly. I'm going to go a little bit heavier. And now I've set up an overall tone as well to go into Topaz Impression. I'm going to go right back up to my Adjust first and take that brightness level up, though. There we go. Perfect. And I'm going to say OK. And now that I've created this underpainting, gotten rid of some of these distracting elements that I didn't want in that end result after Topaz Impression, I can now go into Topaz Impression. I won't see those little uh, splotches of color because it's no longer there. And I have a much cleaner effect than I did before. I'm going to go ahead and come down to my Turner Sunset. Oh, wow. Okay. I love the paint strokes, but there's lots of things in here that I... Well, not lots, but there's certain things I want to kind of get rid of. But I want to keep the paint stroke, so I'm going to just click on that preset first and go into the sliders. And I will go into my color options down here. I'll leave the strokes alone. And I'm just going to take some of that overall saturation. Well, I'll leave the overall saturation up, but get rid of some of these individual color changes that were made to the preset itself. I'm just double clicking on these. Anytime you want to go back to zero, you can double click on the word itself on the slider and it will take that slider right back to zero. I'm gonna take some of that brightness down, give me some contrast back and take that vignette off. And the last thing, let's see here. I actually maybe wanna take my brightness down a bit my contrast up. Oh, that's looking better. I also don't really like the way that the paint is spilling over the edges. So the one thing that I'm going to change with the stroke is go into the stroke settings, take that spill down, and it's just going to clean up those edges real nice. So take that up just a touch. All right, so here we are. Here's where we started off with the Simplify. And very quickly, I was able to get exactly the type of more abstract painterly effect that I was looking for without the details that would have been brought in if I went directly from my original image into Impression versus going into Simplify first to remove those details. So I hope this gives you a nice workflow and gives you some ideas on how you can combine Simplify and Impression to get a really nice amount of control over your end result of your digital paintings. I do have another image that I want to show real quick. We have a couple minutes and then I will announce the winner of Topaz Simplify and Impression and take a few of your questions as well. Let me go ahead and press OK and I'll jump into the next image because another way that I found that or another reason I found to use that combination is not only just eliminating the detail, but if I just want to have a much more abstract look, but still have smaller paint strokes, that's kind of hard to achieve within just Topaz Impression because um, when you have those smaller paint strokes, it automatically is going to have more detail and it's going to bring in a lot more from that original image. But if you take it into Simplify first and get rid of those details completely, you can still get very small paint strokes with impression, yet it still feels very um, abstract, not super detailed. So I've, I've found that I really like that effect as well. So let me to make a quick copy of this and just head into Topaz Simplify. For this, I will also start with a preset. I really find that I like that underpainting 2 preset. Looks like it's in YCBCR, which is fine. Um, I want to go into adjust and bring my contrast back up along with my saturation and saturation boost and I want to take my brightness levels higher maybe even take my saturation boost quite high to get some of those flower colors back but you can see that using that underpainting I'm not getting all those little details it's going to allow me to bring that in and just get very nice results quite quickly in impression 
I'm just going to add a little bit of dynamics to get some localized contrast and I'm happy. I'll say OK. And now I'm going to go into impression with this. And that's how fast you can create these digital paintings with the amount of detail that you really want in that end result. All right, now let's just do a copy of this layer and go into impression. Maybe I'll do something like Soro Afternoon, which is uh, which will have those very small dot strokes. So that we have very small paint strokes here, but you can see by going into Simplify first, I eliminated a lot of that extra detail that would have been brought in, so I have a much more abstract feel, a much more impressionistic feel than I would have otherwise. All right, I hope this gives you two examples that you can kind of flow with and work on with your images. Again, if you want to sign up for upcoming sessions, you can do so at topazlabs.com slash webinars. Thank you so much for joining me for Quick Tip Thursday, and I hope to see you at an upcoming session. Bye, everyone.